Next resource person, and that is Ms. Annie Kumar. Uh, Annie Ma'am will be guiding us further on our uh, journey to learn various ICT tools. So in today's session, that is session number 15 of this training program, we will be talking about working with text, how to work on a word processor. So let's uh, look forward to an interesting session. And I welcome Annie Ma'am once again on behalf of the entire CIT team. Uh, and I hand over the proceedings of this session to Ma'am. Thank you, Ma'am. So thank you, Buni. So thanks a lot for all of you for joining today's session. So to, in today's session, we would be further describing uh, the writer further. So we would be understanding how are the different facilities that we can further enhance, uh, we can add to the uh, same uh, same word, word processor document where we can add the images, where we can add some tables. So we would be learning in today's session how to add these type of things and how to make our lesson plans very beautiful. So in today's session, basically, uh, whenever we look forward, like, for example, you have to create a lesson for your student to in that lesson, we add images, we need to have some textual matter, we need to have some audio video. So such type of things we need to have in our word document. So if we are going, if we have these things, then it would be very easy for us to give that type of document to our students. So that if uh, suppose you want a um, content whatever is written in the in the sheet that if you can uh, record it uh, record the audio of that and uh, just put the audio also in that uh, document and even if you have some videos so if you are able to add that video also in the document and you can add images so these all things are also possible in uh, LibreOffice so it is very easy and um, to, since you have been learning so many different types of things since morning and uh, last four days so it is actually very easy this is also a very useful tool that would make your life very easy and this particular today whatever we would be discussing with the help of this knowledge you would be able to create your question papers that is a very mandatory thing for everyone all the teachers they need to add images in the question paper that is that becomes very tricky so we would be learning how to add images in the question paper. I'll be also telling you how to take a screenshot of the image and then add it in the question paper. So, and uh, how to add the things in the table and how to uh, add page borders. So in today's session, we would be learning these all things. So I hope everyone knows how to start LibreOffice. So let me uh, just let me share my screen. So I hope my screen is shared. So you can see here, you need to go to LibreOffice. Okay. So if you are opening LibreOffice, here you get the writer document. I hope all of you are already aware of this writer document. So if you are clicking on this writer document, it will help you to open a new document. So this is a new brand new document that we have opened. Now in today's session, we would be learning how to add images in our document. So you had already learned how to add text. So today we would be working on images and how to uh, just uh, add different types of images in the... So for uh, in your assignment also, you will be getting like, uh, let us try to add images uh, related to uh, different uh, food dishes and the uh, dress of particular state. So we can... Uh, search on Google also, like for example. Suppose I am going to google.com and there I need to go to images. So this is a very uh, useful tool. If you go to images, then only you would be able to search for the uh, images. So we can uh, check for dresses in India. Okay. So dresses in India, I got this image, dresses in India by different states so what you can do you can search for the dress that uh, whichever is the dress uh, different states of india 
so we got such type of suppose we are uh, we are uh, we i want this uh, particular um, image so what we can do uh, you uh, this is actually a youtube link so i want image see you get save image as uh, what i am doing i am saving it my in my download folder folder so that i can um, use it further press of india okay so you can see i have downloaded this and now i want to use this image in my word doc okay so here is my document the libre writer so you need to go to insert okay so i hope everyone is following with me i had open a libre write uh, document in libre writer and here what i am doing i am gone to insert in insert i am I am just uh, clicking on image. If anyone is not able to understand, you can ask. So what I have done, whatever image I had downloaded, I had brought it here. Yes, teachers, all of you are able to do this. Ah, uh, you can show some reaction, thumbs up, or anything. If anyone has. you can use a hand raise also if anyone is not able to understand so all of you are able to add images okay so now once we have added okay so uh, can i do it uh, should i do it again so let me delete so this is a blank new writer okay there is nothing in this so what i did i went to google i'll show the how to download also google.com i went to google.com there i selected images because i wanted to search images okay <coughs> now i want to search for different food items in different states of india food of different states of india okay so i have searched for different uh, food items so now you can see i have got so many different uh, suppose i want this one you select this okay do a right click over there and click on save image as okay so i change the name to food and then save it is going by default to my downloads folder of my computer okay so once i have downloaded this image then i what i have done the uh, now i went to insert okay in insert i am clicking on image okay selected the food because now here i am going to downloads because in downloads only i had saved that image and then click on open so you can see i added the image here <coughs> i hope this is clear everyone okay so now uh, you can see these are the handlers okay when i uh, hover my mouse over this image it changes now this plus sign means i can move my image here and there this handler means i can resize i can make it smaller or bigger try doing this all of you i am able to resize my image like this okay so now what i am doing i also want to get some text on what are the different food items that are so i went to this part particular website and i am copying for just reference i am copying the content so what i am doing i am copying the content from here so whatever you wish you let us copy all the content from here so i have copied now what i am doing i am pasting the content place your cursor anywhere 
See, I have pasted the content on my page. Okay. Now, uh, what you can see here, the image, where is it? Image is here. There is another tool that is called anchoring. I wanted that <coughs> this image should be, should move with the paragraph. Now, you can see when I am moving this image, Now see, if I am moving this image, so what is happening? <coughs> it is not overlapping the content. Okay. So how this is possible? Go to format. There by default, it is two character. Now, uh, there are different types of uh, anchoring tools. Like here, I can anchor it like a paragraph, uh, means to a paragraph or I can anchor it as a character. Now, this character is very easy. What will happen? If I treat this image as character, <coughs> then each sentence is actually made of characters. Okay. So, this image will be treated as a character and it uh, the ne next line will leave that much of space as this image is taking. I'll show you how it is happening. See, this image I have taken. I went to format. In format, I got this square. Anchor and I am making it as a character. Now see what has happened. This image is treated as a character. Now what is happening if now you can see the content or next whatever is coming here. The next line. What is the difference between these? The next line is coming below. It means the one it is uh, this image is treated like a character and the next line is coming after that. <laughs> now you may be wondering that why this so much of space is left now, this is only because this particular image is being treated as a character now if you waves with uh, all the text matter then anchor is not going to help you out for that we have to use uh, wrapping images feature mm -hmm. <laughs> So, all of you, please try doing this. You can uh, increase the size. Now, see, if I'm increasing the size accordingly, the all the, uh, this whole line is taking that much of space the si as the size of the image. So, I hope everyone has done it. So, can I get a thumbs up? Uh, participants, last reminder for attendance. I'm closing the link in two minutes. So yes, uh, this is done. If you're not able to do, you can just check with me. Okay, so now what we are doing, uh, here the image, whatever we added, it we wanted that these space should also be filled. So generally, this is a problem that happens in our everyday life also. So for that, you need to go to format. First of all, select the image. Okay, go to format and you have this option called wrap. Okay.
Neydi? Okay, you are not able to get the matter. So matter I have taken from any of the uh, website or anything or you can go to e-partsala. I'll tell you how to do this, that also. Go to e-partsala. Okay, all of you are already aware of e-partsala. Go there. <coughs> I'm going to take a general example that happens. Suppose for your question paper, you want to take an image from your NCRT book only. Okay. So, all of you already know epartsala.nic.in. Go there. From epartsala, again click on epartsala. Then you get teachers. This. Okay. Click on the teachers. Then here we get this e-textbooks. Click there. So, these are the textbooks that are NCRT. All, the, all textbooks are already av available here. So, suppose I am taking a textbook of class 6th. <laughs> science and the book is suppose science here okay so this is uh, the book all um, all of you already aware, aware of now here see there is written download complete book as pdf click over there it will get downloaded like this on your in your downloads folder okay Go to the downloads folder. It You will get it in the format of zip. Okay. So if it is in the format of zip, do a right click and then click on extract to. It will convert get converted into a folder like this. Okay. So once you click, you will get all the chapters of that book in the form of PDF. Okay. Suppose I, and now uh, you will see this PDF is opening in my Edge browser. So, suppose for example, I wanted this image to be used in my question paper. Okay, I am making a term 2 question paper or term 1 question paper. I wanted the same image to be used in my question paper. So, what I need to do? I need to copy this image. Now, I cannot do a right click and copy this image. You will not get that. Okay. For that, what we have to do? We have to use screen clipping. So, uh, all of you can note down. Sc for screen clipping, you have to press three buttons on your keyboard. Shift, Windows key and S. Shift, Windows key and S. Okay. And S. So, you what will happen? Your screen will get like this. And you can drag and copy the image. Now it is copied into the clipboard. Now what I can do? I can simply go to my document and there I will say control V paste. Now you can see I got that image here in my question paper. So I can resize it. Whatever you want to do with this image, you can do it. It is not only, a, it is possible on any of the image. Uh -huh. See, suppose I am going to, I want this image. Okay. Shift, Windows key. You will see a Windows button on this uh, keyboard. Windows and S. S, S. S for Srinagar. S. Because we are super teacher, it is S. So, like this, it is copied and then you can go to any of the document and press Control V. You will get that image. Okay? Should I do it again? It is a very amazing tool. You will enjoy because this is, this helps our life. It makes our life very easy. You can go online and it is not only for uh, this. You can go on any of the screen. Suppose um, I want to use any image, uh, anything, anywhere. This is a simple website. I want to use this image. Okay. So here also it is possible. Shift, Windows and S. 
see the screen trip, uh, clipping tool got enabled and I can copy this image. But don't copy text with this manner. Uh, then what will happen? Uh, everything will be treated as image. See. Is it clear, everyone? Shift window this, yes. Okay. Now, this image, there are suppose uh, these two images are there. Now, what we want to do? Uh, I told you there is a feature called wrapping, wrapping of text. Okay. So, what I'll do, one minute, control A. I'm going to delete. I'm going to make a... Uh, something like a question paper. So, let us go to this. So, here what I am doing. Here, see, if your mouse, if you are moving your mouse and your mouse handler is this type. Okay. It is double head like this. See the uh, I can copy. So, I can simply drag and I can copy the content. Okay. So, I have, I am going to copy this text. Control C. I have gone there, control V. So, you can see I have copied the text. Okay. Now, I wanted to insert that image also. So, this image also I want. Shift, Windows and S. Okay this image also I added. Okay. Now this image and uh, I want that this image should be uh, just see uh, what will happen if I am going to format and do anchor as character then what will happen if I move it like this. See. One minute. Let us make it little smaller. This. Uh huh. So, uh, see, if I write here anything, then what will happen? Here, if I am writing at this position, then automatically what it will uh, do? If you are writing anything, then it, this particular line, it will take uh, the next line. Means I, to, I have shown you that part. But right now, I am not going to show the same thing. We are going to use the another feature that is called wrap. Let us select the image first. And see the wrap feature. This image we are having. Let us take some more content. Where is the wrap feature? Wrap feature is just below that only. Okay. I am not, I am, I am on that wrap text only. See. We have brought this image here. See what is happening. Just see, if I am moving the image to what has happened. The text from there has gone out. See, here this portion I don't have any text. Okay, this is the problem with anchor. Okay, but with wrap what will happen? Uh, your image will be in between and contents will be all over there. So, this feature we want to add. So, go to format in wrap C. Now, if now right now it is none, no, uh, in, uh, nothing is there. If I say parallel, now see what is the difference. All of you can see the difference. Just see, control Z. Right now, if my image is in between, content is placed just like it is like a boundary wall is there and no content is coming at this portion. Okay, if I move little here also, then see. It is leaving those space. 
but i want that con uh, image should be somewhat in between and see if i'm making it smaller then still this whole space is going going vacant okay if i put it anywhere here also see all space is going vacant so i wanted that here also content should come so right now i am using the anchor feature so you with anchor this feature is not possible this whatever i wanted that is not possible this is possible with the wrap in format first thing is that you need to select the text uh, image if you have not selected the image you will not get that wrap so format go to wrap and then select suppose parallel i am selecting now see everywhere my content is being placed it is not uh, making it vacant i hope this is clear to everyone where is wrap feature in uh, first of all select the image then go to format and in format only you will get wrap Should I repeat the uh, uh, this wrap text format? You have got other wrap features also, so you can try. Through means what will happen? See like this. So here, what is happening? Content uh, is below, but image is above it. So this is through feature. See like this. So these all features are you can try, but uh, in format we get this wrap feature here. okay i like this parallel one because in parallel what is happening content is getting placed through a, all over the place okay so i hope everyone is uh, now able to understand okay so now next uh, uh, next segment in formatting image is aligning the image like we align the text text can be placed on the center of the page um or left side right side to so alignment is center left or right so similarly if you wish your images like for example i am bringing my image here okay now it is uh, by seeing we see uh, we can say that it is left align i want to make it right align go to format in format you have align and you can say center so you can see automatically it takes the center of the page okay the image gets the center of the page so we don't need to put space bars and then make the image at the center instead what you can do if they if people don't know that what they do they generally put put space bars and try to place the image in the center and still it won't be in the center instead what we can do we can select the image go to format and in align text you can select center so automatically it will take the center of the page if you say it right it will go to the right okay if you say left it will go to the left of the page is it clear this was easy ha uh, all of you i hope everyone is doing it Hmm? Uh, many times it happens that when we click the photograph uh, we want to make it uh, uh, face to other side so what is it call can anyone tell me you can use the chat and tell me if anyone knows i want to uh, make the uh, image face it on the other side ha uh, there is a uh, it's complicated ah uh, yes flip uh, great jeremiah knows that it is flip yes amazing so if you want to flip it simply if you have suppose my left will become right right will become left it is something like that let us try uh, flipping this image what will happen let's see what is that acha repeat uh, see i have uh, uh, done हाँ ये वाला जो इमेज हमने डाला है इस इमेज को हम चाहते थे कि पेज के बिल्कुल सेंटर में आ जाए तो आप सबसे पहले इमेज को सेलेक्ट करो सेलेक्ट करने के बाद फॉर्मेट में जाओ फॉर्मेट में जाने के बाद यू गेट दिस अलाइन टेक्स्ट वहां पर सेंटर कर दिया तो ये सेंटर में आ जाएगा
ठीक है ओके सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज फ्लिपिंग फ्लिपिंग इज अगेन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर्मेट सेलेक्ट करना है फर्स्ट फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट द इमेज रोटेट और फ्लिप लेट अस ट्राई इफ आई मेक इट फ्लिप हॉरिजॉन्टली व्हाट हैपेंस सी व्हाट हैज हैपन कैन एनीवन टेल मी नीचे वाला ऊपर हो गया ऊपर वाला नीचे हो गया था नाउ सपोज ट्राई फ्लिप वर्टिकल सी ओके सो इवन वी कैन रोटेट सपोज रोटेशन ऑल्सो नाउ इट इज वन एटी डिग्री रोटेशन सो यू कैन रोटेट और यू कैन फ्लिप ऑल्सो तो मेनी टाइम्स इट वी देर इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ रोटेटिंग द इमेज ऑल्सो ओके सो वी कैन रोटेट सी वी आर वी कैन रोटेट द इमेज ऑल्सो द हैंडलर चेंजेस आई एम रोटेटिंग द इमेज ओके ये देखो ऐसे करके ये पिंक सा एक डायरेक्शन बन रहा है विद दैट आई एम एबल टू रोटेट ये देखना पिंक सर्कल सा बना हुआ इसके थ्रू ही आई एम एक्चुअली रोटेटिंग तो मेनी टाइम्स यू नीड टू अरेन्ज द इमेज इन सम डिफरेंट ऑर्डर तो यू कैन मेक सम पोस्ट का पोस्टर और समथिंग वेन यू आर डिजाइनिंग तो दैट टाइम मेनी टाइम्स वी नीड द इमेजेस टू बी इन डिफरेंट रोटेशन एंड ऑल तो यू कैन यूज दिस फीचर फॉर that okay i hope till here no one is having any issues rotation to ho gaya hoga na sabka rotation समथिंग इज रिटर्न बिलो द इमेज दैट वॉट इज इट वॉट द इमेज इज टेलिंग अस तो फॉर दैट वॉट वी कैन डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सेलेक्ट द इमेज गो टू फॉर्मैट okay we have insert go to select the image go to insert and select caption okay when you are selecting caption then what happens here uh, we can select the category what is it suppose it is an illustration about uh, dresses in india worn by different states of india okay now here by default some numbering would also be given you can select what you want so i'll show you the uh, see how it is coming illustration a now you can uh, double click there and even you can change it one see here you can select and even modify this is illustration one so this also we can do it okay so this way we can add captions to the image i will do it again i hope all of you are not able to understand this see select the image okay select the image go to insert in insert you will get caption go to caption i want the it should be numbering as 1 2 3 4 if you want i want this it should be drawing okay yes jeet of india okay see so like this we can add captions to our images okay aap kuch screen clip the whole page along with the image 
screen clip the whole page yes it is possible that is possible with print screen see right now uh, there is a i am having this image i can what i could i want i want up to take a screenshot so you have a uh, on your keyboard you will see print screen button is there so just press that and i'll show you here i have uh, done that and you can paste it now see here what has happened the whole screen clipping is it is taking means it is not screen clipping this is actually the screenshot of the page so what is happening here this is the uh, print screen you need to press the print screen button from the keyboard that's it and just say control v print screen will copy the image the whole screenshot it will take the screenshot of the window and then you can go to the document and say control v okay now we have to many times we need to add tables in our like uh, for the making the question paper in accounts in mathematics so you need a table okay and if you are giving math the column also there also we need to have table in our question paper so and suppose if you are if you are designing some uh, um menu or something like that so there also we need some table so for those all things what we need to do we need to add a table in our document okay let us make a new document so in this new document you can see here how to add a table on the toolbar you get this this is insert table click over there and if i want to add um suppose three columns and uh, two rows so i am selecting like this okay and uh, what you can do you can resize like this okay we can resize the table so what has happened here the center column is bigger than the left and the right column okay and if you want to add more so simply tab will help you to add so you can uh, keep on pressing the tab key and then you will uh, uh, start getting different rows okay this is one way of adding the uh, table so the next way to add a table is with the insert table command now see here we can go to table and there is insert table command go there and here we can say two columns or three columns suppose two rows and what type of table you want to create so this is also possible suppose i say like elegant to this type of table it will create so formatting is already being done should i do it again yes uh, this inserting table all uh, all of you are able to understand or should i do it again see there are two ways one is from the toolbar or you can go to table menu and there you can select insert table and then there are different types of predefined formats like for financial tables you can use this <coughs> and you can give table a name also a number of columns number of rows everything you can tell here and then click on insert so you will get that sort of table and uh, once you have created a table by pressing the tab key you can add more rows to the table this is the easiest way of adding rows acha repeat okay see i am going to so i right now i don't have any table in my document okay i need to have a table uh, with four rows and three columns okay i am going to table four rows so what i'll do four rows 
and three columns okay and i wanted something of this type of format for my table okay so you can see here i created you can start typing here anything whatever you want to use tab key to go to the next uh, next uh, next uh, cell and then if you want to add further more content so what we can do we can just simply press the tab key and add new rows to the see so i am pressing the tab key from the keyboard and it is adding more rows to the table and even you can resize the like this i can resize it see done okay next uh, you have to um, understand many times we need to add some special characters in our uh, in our document for adding the special characters we need to go to insert insert an object so there is one more thing um that is formula object formula object is also many times special character is here i actually wanted special character that you have uh, checked here in um, uh, spreadsheet also you came must not must have come to know how to add like half we have to add so half is little difficult to write so we can use like this see okay so and um, there are certain other things also geometric shapes okay so you can use these things also like triangle smileys uh, suppose you want to give to the students you can add this smileys <coughs> see i added this smiley yeah. so you can add other things also Go to insert, go to special characters, and like whenever you are giving the making the uh, science question papers, there are also many times we need to add such type of symbols, male and female ones. So these symbols are also available here. So it is very difficult. We need to type and or draw with hand, but here we are already having these symbols. <coughs> Okay, even the symbol of sun also you can see here. See, so these are characters, and these are we are adding these symbols. Now, whenever you are doing that probability questions, so you need to have these type of symbols in the question paper, spade and all. So here also, you can use these symbols from this position and use it. See, all the special symbols are there. Okay, see. Isn't it very easy? So these symbols we require these type of symbols in our day-to-day uh, -day life so you can use it from there there are lots of other symbols also like your see this symbol so when we have to uh, create question paper for fractions and all then we can use it otherwise you need to draw but here we are already having these symbols okay So you can further explore because lots of other symbols are also there. Here. Okay.
in hindi also these are hindi matra then all you can use it okay like at the rate okay i hope this is clear now there is one more thing we need to add shape to is easy shape is uh, i'll show you here also we have lots of other things very beautiful like for example you are being asked to create um, banners and all you can use this and start uh, typing in it so for typing what will you do right click add text box okay Insert. See now in this you can type like you can use welcome. So like this you can design your posters or something like that. Okay. So this is one and there are other symbols also we can. Like see here, insert shape. We have stars, banner, symbol shapes, lots of shapes are there. Smiley face. So drag, we'll get that smiley face. See, it is very easy. There is no drag. If I'm dragging, it will make a bigger. Just simply click also uh, is adding. Okay, see, just clicking also adds. I'm just clicking and it is adding. Okay, and here, uh -huh. now if you want to, suppose add, a, Now insert, uh, go to OLE and you will get this formula object. So formula object, you will get one more window here open. This is symbols. It should open. When you open a formula object, it opens actually one more uh, uh, this year you will get this element this will get you will come uh, now suppose for example you have to write uh, um, this thing one minute b square minus 4 ac by 2a suppose uh, um, that you need to write okay that equation of quadratic equation we need to write so how to write that Now, see, I have written here one minute. Let us make it a little bigger. So, here one minute. So, here, whatever you are seeing, one second, let me increase the size. See, I, what I want, B square. So, B square means you need to write raised to the power. So, you have all the other operators also. This is limit mass all equations you will get. Okay, set operations, functions, relations.
So this also like you must have seen the vector sign. That also we can add like this. We are adding this and you can write anything like uh, one little to me. Like V vector or something like that. You can see here it is using one, but let me delete. This is very big. Insert formula object. Suppose let us take this thing. Suppose B by A. So you can see here, it is writing B by A. So otherwise, this is not possible to type on the computer because we don't have this by thing. By thing is not possible here. Okay. And if you want to make it B square or something like that, so that is also possible. This thing is possible, B square. This two equation is easy. But this type of facility is not there. We don't have that by sign on the keyboard. So that's why we have to use formula object. Okay. And uh, lots of other uh, features are there in the formula. You can uh, explore there also. As per your subject requirement, you can check that. Okay. Can you see? No, I can't see. 2D, 3D shape. 2D, 3D shape, they want me to. 2D, 3D shape is also there. 2D shapes are there, 3D shapes, so... Okay. 2D shapes, so we are drawing. Whatever we are inserting, all are 2D shapes. Okay, we have this 2D shapes. We have all these are 2D shapes only. Okay. Okay, now there is um, two more things. That is embedding audio and video. Now, when we are embedding audio and video, one small thing that you have to take care. Uh, we are on Windows devices. Okay, on Windows devices, there is uh, uh, Windows Media uh, uh, Video, WMV format. Okay, that type of format, MP4 is not supported here. We were trying it yesterday, but it is not, it doesn't, LibreOffice doesn't support that. So, I, what I have done, I have converted one video into WMV format and I will show you here what is happening. Uh, what you need to do to add a video or an audio. I told you that we can create a lesson where we can add images, where we can add some textual matter, where we can add our audio, where we can add video. So, I am trying to use that feature, okay? So, insert. I already told you how to add images. Also, I told you how to add text. Now, we are trying to add video and audio. Okay. So, for adding video and audio, you need to go to insert. Insert, then go to media. In media, you will get audio or video. Okay. If you want to add any uh, MP3. So, let me see. I have some MP3 uh, songs. So, what I am doing, I am adding that MP3. Okay. Okay. So, if I am adding this mp3, you can see here, uh, automatically, some player uh, uh, has uh, got activated and I can play the, so you can hear the song is actually being played directly in my document. So, you can control, stop, play, pause, these all things are there. Okay, this is very interesting feature of LibreOffice and this is possible only in LibreOffice. If you have not understood, I'll try doing it again. If you have any MP3 uh, audio in your computer, so what you can do, you can go to insert, go to media. One second, let me go out. Insert, go to media, go to audio or video. Okay, then select any of the MP3 here also. You can select, if you are not able to understand from where to get .mp3, you can select. See, I'm having lots of these four, four uh, songs where mp3. You can see here the type of the file is mp3. So, I can uh, select any of them. Okay. And this can play. There is a player. Okay.
Oliver able to add this? Uh, to make 3D, we can use grid or 3-axis. 3D images are not made by this software. These are all planar softwares. For that, you have to use other softwares like Tinkercad and all, where you can design 3D images. Or if you don't know that, then simply Paint 3D is also there. That is a proprietary software, but it comes in build free with Windows. So, if I get time, I'll show you that window, um, how from where we can use the 3D shapes. Okay. So, is it clear how to add the audio? I am also uh, showing you that how to add a video. That also is very interesting here. So, just come out of this. Insert. Media. Audio or video. But take care here. All the videos will not be added. Only I'll show you this. Uh, this video would be able to. I'll show you the properties of this video. This is WMV. If any video is having the extension WMV or else what you can do, you can convert your MP3, MP4 videos with any online tool to WMV. Okay. So, if then only what will happen, this video will get here and you can see, I can play this. See, the video is directly playing in my Word document. Okay. So we can similarly, so by this method, we can add, suppose you have recorded some video for your students and you want to add this, add that video in your Word document and then give it to the students. So that could be done. But only thing is that that video should be WMV format. Then only it will play for the students. Okay, or else you won't be able to add it here. Ah, WMV. WMV. I'll show it again. See, I am going to insert media. One, let me come out of here. Insert media, audio or video. So what I did, actually my video was not of WMV. I had created, I had this video and the format you will see it is, uh, it is MP4. So I converted this video into WMV format. Okay. The video, whatever I'm able to upload here is WMV. See, you can see here the properties is WMV. Okay. Windows media uh, video. So here uh, video will be get uploaded and it will play also. Yeah. See, directly in the player it will play. I'm not going to any other software. I'm directly playing my video in the word processor. Means the writer, the LibreOffice writer only I am directly playing. Okay. So now next we want to understand what is the page layout. After doing so many things with the page, we need to do the page layout. A page layout is actually the first task that we are doing in the end. Okay. So, I'll show you. I am going to a new document. Okay. New text document. And here, what we need to do? Assignment to a few things I have added. Oh, just this one and then I'll end. Okay. Okay. Now, this is... Um, when we have to change the page, you know, page whenever you are creating, it should have some size because if you want to take a print, then all the printer doesn't take all the size of page. So we have to specify the page size and then we need to design accordingly. So format uh, for that, you need to go to format and format you get this page style. Okay, this is a window. Now if you want to add borders to this, so that also could be done. Select borders. Okay, go to border. Select this border and you can check any of the styles. Suppose I'm and I want to add some colors like this and then apply. Okay, so you can see I am having a good border on my email, uh, this page. Okay, 
Similarly, if I want to add this page uh, size, what is the size of the page? Go to page. Right now, the page is of A4. You can check. Many times it is like A3 or A2. Accordingly, you can give the page size also. Width, height, all these also. You can margins also. Left, right, top, bottom. Mar margins also. You can also the Orientation is again one more thing. Go to format. Then page style. You have this um, one minute, one transparency is there area, footer, uh, footer and uh, these all things, footer and header is at the top and the bottom page we have. Okay. These all things so we have given. Okay. Cancel. Now suppose you want to add a page background. Okay. So here uh, by doing a right click also we get this page option. Paragraph is also there. So, paragraph, if you want to add any, uh, this one, border to a paragraph, so that is also possible. Okay, by selecting paragraph, that could be done. And one is called indents and uh, pacings. So, that was also possible. One minute, let me go to the previous Word document. In this, we don't have any content. <laughs> Suppose this is a paragraph. Select paragraph, paragraph. See, I can add a border to the paragraph also. See, this paragraph, whichever, wherever my mouse was there, that paragraph. Paragraph means nothing gets, uh, we don't put enter key in between. When you're writing continuously, it becomes a paragraph. Okay? And... Um, uh, saving a PDF. Now, if you want to save the whole document as a PDF, because that is also part of your assignment. So, file, go to file, click on export. Okay. So, this is one way. And the easiest way to complete is go to file, click on export as PDF. So, this will get converted into PDF. Okay. And click on export and it will get saved as a PDF. Okay. So, click on export. So, I need to give a page. Uh, right now, I want to save it in my downloads. Suppose page 1 or project 1. Project 1 I have saved. Now, save. So, you can see in my downloads folder, I have a, I have a page called project 1. So, this is opening in my Edge browser. So, this is the PDF. Okay? This is a PDF. Okay? And then if you want to print the page, go to file, click on print. Okay. And there is again one more thing that if you want to use a page background, if you want some hidden text or these all things, so you can add. Otherwise, in general, you have print to, I don't have right now printer attached. If you have a print to file option is there. If you want to make it a file printer ready file, that is also possible. Otherwise, if you have a printer attached, you will get the name of the printer here and directly you can give the print command. Or else a shortcut key for printing is Control P. Press the Control and the P button. It will directly go to the printer. That print um, window will get activated. Okay? So, I hope this much is there. If you have any questions, you can ask. Page border. Okay, page border. One minute. It's very easy. Just let me go to a new page. Then only you will understand here. Go to this new page. Okay, then go to insert. Oh no, format. Go to page style. In page style, you have borders. Select the second one or third one, anyone. Then only you will be able to add page and border. Anything here. Change the color and all if you want to give a different color. Apply. Okay. See, you get a border. These are also like if you want to increase the paragraph spacings, line spacing. This is for the line spacing. I'll show you here in this document. 
if i want to i if you feel that these are the contents are too cluttered go there and then increase the line spacing see if you want to add a little more spacing see you will see there is a increase if you want to add more double c now you can see the contents are little far so it is this is the way we can increase the line spacing the margins of the page okay so i hope all of you are able to do it video format is wmb mp3 is audio Okay, participants, we have come to the end of the content for this session. Uh, if you have any doubts, please feel free to ask ma'am. There was a query about a video format which ma'am has just now clarified. Ma'am, if you could just clarify again. It is WMB. So I had typed MP3, that is for audio, and WMB is for video. Any queries, please raise your hands. I'm going to put the assignment for this session in the chat box right now. Please go through the assignment. And see if you have a doubt, ma'am will clarify it. Madam, explain orientation option, madam. Orientation. Okay, ma'am, we are doing. Aruna, ma'am, would you like to share your screen and uh, take a demo from ma'am? Or you want ma'am only to share her screen and show to you? What would you prefer? It is actually there in the printer. Orientation option, ma'am. If anyone else also has any queries, meanwhile, you can raise your hand. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I'm sharing my screen. I'm showing you where you can uh, see the printer, uh, this orientation. See here, when we are opening this printer, I'll show you from where I got this window. I went to uh, file. And there you are getting this print. 
in the print when i am saying that uh, this is a printer you will get here you get is orientation by default orientation is portrait okay if you want to uh, modify it to landscape then it will be landscape now see the orientation has changed it is means length is more width is uh, less and in portrait uh, this height is more width is less that is actually the difference ha huh. in the print option you will get this orientation see this is the portrait orientation and this is the landscape orientation okay so this option you will get in the print option uh, in the print button okay you need to uh, go to file then print and from there only you will get this orientation ha huh. printer kai normal way na karne ke liye hota hai नहीं 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 है है में में था पेज हाँ हियर ऑल्सो यू गेट दिस ओरिएंटेशन सी पेज यू आर यू हैव दिस ओरिएंटेशन पोर्ट्रेट इज बाय डिफॉल्ट लैंडस्केप इज हियर okay in the page format only in page page format you have this orientation apply ha uh, apply you need to apply then only it will be applied like see now it is width is more uh, this uh, width is more height is less <coughs> anything else Uh, opening itself okay one minute see i have opened a new uh, document okay now i want to make it landscape so go to format page style and make it landscape apply okay now it is landscape the original window is all only uh, landscape anything else ha yeah, put water watermark in the file one minute this is also possible acha there is one caricature uh, question also is there i'll show you that also um insert see here we have watermark in format okay i want a watermark of confidential confidential okay and angle 45 degrees okay transparency 50% you can see here i got a confidential watermark okay in format you have okay this is possible color also if you want to change to any other color that also is possible now see okay uh, remove watermark okay remove acha <laughs> okay one minute go to format watermark so it is removed okay and uh, one more thing there is a question of caricature i'll show you that also i'll show you one minute let me uh, insert an image okay i am suppose i am taking an image so this is my image only i'm taking okay i want to make a caricature of my image so now what i'll do i'll go to format and um, in format you have to select first of all select that image one minute let me make it little smaller format you have uh, one minute image 
in image you have filter in filter if i make it posterize or something like that see it has made and you can uh, just uh, try uh, it makes very beautiful also so here format image filter you can uh, mosaic suppose i use it mosaic so these type of you can add format charcoal sketch see so these type of features you can add and i think it is there in your uh, assignment Hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Annie, ma'am. On behalf of uh, the entire CIT team and all the participants, I would like to thank you for this session. And I would also like to thank all the participants for patiently listening to all our resource persons all across the day. And now we have come to the last session. Uh, we can stop.